Hi, my name is Eric, and I've got a uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Pro uh, Note Pro 12.2, and uh, it has a uh, USB 3 port on the side here. And the thing I, I really don't like about this is that uh, it only has uh, 32 gigs of memory. You could get one with 64, but that was quite a bit more money, and I didn't want to spend that. So, uh, if you want to uh, increase that, there is a, a spot for a micro SD. Um, but what I wanted to do was to be able to add a uh, hard drive to it, and there's a couple ways to do that. One with not going to the hard drive, but just going to uh, these little thumb drives, these on-the-go thumb drives that you can get from SanDisk and other companies. Uh, this one I think might be 32 and I've got a 64. But if you want something bigger, like adding a, a hard drive, uh, what happens when you do that uh, is whoops, you have to have uh, first of all, an on-the-go adapter. So it just has a USB 3 on one side and a uh, female uh, port on the other side. So let me uh, set this camera down and plug this in. Okay, so it's a little hard to see with my dark background, but I've got the, the on-the-go cable plugged in, and then that is plugged into a uh, Western Digital uh, one terabyte drive. and what you see is, you see on the end, it, it just blinks. It, it doesn't uh, have enough power uh, running to the hard drive to um, to power up. You see, there's no no hard drive listed to power up the uh, the hard drive. So, uh, what I did then, and again, I will set uh, or disconnect this is to buy one of these cables that is a, um, uh, a SATA uh, to USB 3 but it also has it's a split cable so it has power uh, power cable and then the, the data cable so or this is a this is the data cable and this is the power cable so what you can do here is to um, Again, use the on-the-go um, adapter to plug this into your tablet, and then this plug this into uh, you know something that can shoot five volts through here to the to power up the hard drive. So I will set this down and show you that it does work indeed. Okay, so I've got the on-the-go cable uh, hooked up uh, to my this is a, a another one terabyte drive and then I've got it plugged into my computer for uh, power and sometimes it takes a okay it, it took a second but you can see uh, USB A uh, USB drive A and this is it I've just got a couple things in here to show you that it does work um, I've got a, just a picture this is on living in Florida right now and this is one of our neighbors and then a movie to show that that does uh, pull up I should maybe use that so that's just a picture of my granddaughter a movie of my granddaughter so so this this does work um, one thing you have to remember and I will try to repeat it uh, I'm going to show you one more drive is to format this in FAT32 or XFAT otherwise uh, the Android device will not recognize it um, okay so I didn't want to have to bring some kind of an extra power supply along um, so I thought how about if I get a solid state drive so I bought this at Best Buy. It's a, a 240 gig, and it was on sale for 70 bucks. So it was a pretty good deal. So I've got that in a a case here. Um, so you can see it's, it just has the the one you know uh, cable that has both power and data. And I will uh, plug that in first. I will uh, disconnect this uh, drive that's connected 
um, and unmount that and then I will put this on to show you that it does indeed work uh, without having to worry about uh, uh, an extra power supply okay so now I have my uh, solid-state drive in this case and that is connected um, with the on-the-go cable to the tablet okay come on pop up I don't know if it, there it goes okay so there it is it's mounted um, again I just have a little test directory with another picture to show that yes it does work and another movie I can't remember if it's the same one um, or a different one come on click there we go okay this is a different one this is another granddaughter and, and my daughter at the beach here in uh, Florida so uh, if you really want to hook up a uh, external hard drive I, I think the way to go is to get one of these solid state uh, drives they obviously do not take the power that a regular um, drive like this would take and ag again remember you have to uh, uh, for, for these you, at least you have to initialize them so you go into uh, in Windows it's easy you go into disk management to initialize and then format either in FAT32 or XFAT to get them to work um, so hopefully if you want to hook up a hard drive to your uh, uh, Samsung tablet this uh, hopefully this will will help thank you